you know, referencing the past of the festival, saying culture brings out the best in us, it gives the marginalised a voice, it shapes and reshapes uh, how we think of ourselves, and crucially, it unites us. The Edinburgh festivals since 1947 have existed to champion the flowering of the human spirit, and in the face of this truly unprecedented global emergency, we believe that spirit is needed now more than ever. Let's go over to our Scotland correspondent, Lorna Gordon. Uh, Lorna, so there's the medical update that we got from the First Minister. We'll come back to that maybe in a moment. Uh, but this is sad news for all those who love the Edinburgh festivals. Yeah, it is. A, you know, it is a, a mecca for lovers of art, comedy, um, and uh, street performance. The, the capital of Scotland mobbed every summer uh, with tourists coming to see uh, and people coming to perform. But the streets of Edinburgh are now deserted, and today confirmation that for the first time in 70 years those festivals will not take place. It's not entirely unexpected given the circumstances, uh, but nonetheless uh, a, a sign in the artistic community of uh, the epidemic, the seriousness of this epidemic and the consequences it's having on the wider community. And I suppose the duration of those consequences, again, it'll... Uh disappoint anyone who thought that 12 weeks would have us turning the tide in a way that we could get back to large public events. Um, but let's turn to the epidemic itself and the medical news from the First Minister. Cases up 317 in Scotland and deaths up 16 in Scotland. Yeah, she's been giving these updates every day, usually in a daily press conference which takes place around about uh, this time. Uh, today, it's a statement to the Scottish Parliament, which in itself is sitting in a slightly different configuration. The MSPs there um, paying heed to those social distancing rules, the numbers there vastly reduced. Um, the official Scottish Government figures come out at two o'clock every day. They give the breakdown of where the positive cases are uh, per area. Uh, but Nicola Sturgeon uh, giving that very sad news that the total number of deaths in Scotland uh, due to COVID-19 now stands at 76. She also talked about the number of people in intensive care. That is at 147. Of course, one of the key efforts in terms of this big reconfiguration in the NHS has been to increase uh, the capacity of beds and ventilators in critical care. She confirmed that they've now increased that to 360 beds and they're working to increase the capacity to over 500 beds for COVID-19 patients within uh, the next uh, week. So, you know, a lot of effort going into increase the capacity uh, for those who are suffering the most serious symptoms of COVID-19 and who need the highest level of care in an intensive care environment and possibly with ventilators as well. And Lorna, obviously we've heard a